Bruce, my main man. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit here about uh, chapter 31 and uh, the grammar in that chapter. So um, you've got some new forms and then a new kind of grammar concept. And the new grammar concept here is uh, called cum clauses. All right. So up to this point, we've dealt with the word cum only as like a preposition um, that takes an ablative uh, meaning with. Okay, so for example, cum amicis would mean with friends, okay? But the word cum can also be a um, conjunction as well, okay? Um, so we're going to look at how it is used that way, all right? So there are four different types of cum clauses. Um, the first one you can see here on the left, uh, cum temporal. All right, um, and this one is unique because it is the only one that's going to have an indicative verb. So cum plus the indicative. All right, um, temporal uh, from the Latin word tempus, uh, as you know, means time. Okay, um, and the temporal is going to give the precise time when an action occurred. Okay, um, and it's going to be translated with the word when. All right, so uh, if you look at the little example I got down here, um, cum Deus cre creavit homines, so when God created people, when God created men or mankind, um, he created man and woman, okay? So it's talking about an exact time, precise time, when God created people, he created them this way. Okay, so that's temporal. Now, um, circumstantial, there's a, um, this one is going to be very similar to temporal, all right? Um, but you're gonna have an, a subjunctive verb, okay? And rather than giving a precise time like temporal, this one is gonna give you a general time, so kind of the general circumstances when something happened, all right? But it's also gonna be translated with the word when. All right, so no difference in translation. All right, so for our little example here, when I was reading the book, I understood many things. Okay, so telling you uh, the circumstances, the general circumstances of me understanding things when I was reading the book. All right, um, then the two others we have, we have the what's called causal clause. All right, this one is also going to be with a subjunctive verb, and it gives the cause. Ha <laughs> ha, what do you know? Um, and it's going to be translated with the word since or because, okay? So, um, cum Deus nos serva it. so since God has saved us, we ought to love him. You could also say because God has saved us, we ought to love him. Okay, so it's giving us the cause um, why we ought to do something. All right, and then the other one here is the adversative. All right, um, an adversative, like an adversary, uh, an adversary is going to be against you. Okay, so um, the cum adversative, this is going to give circumstances that are against or that are opposed to what is going on in the main clause, all right? This one also is gonna be with a subjunctive, but this one, um, unlike the other two ones with a subjunctive, oftentimes has another word that's going along with it. Not always, but oftentimes you're gonna see the word tamen um, in the main clause, okay? So if you see tamen, it's a very good clue that you're gonna have an adversative, all right? Um, and it's usually translated with the word although. Okay, so here we go. Although the man did mediocre work, nevertheless, he received money. Okay, so um, the fact that his work was mediocre is opposed to the fact that he's still getting, he's still getting paid. All right, um, so those are, those are circumstances that are opposed to that action. All right, so that is, um, that is adversative, all right? Now, um, you'll notice that three of these, um, 
three of these have the subjunctive, all right? Um, so a lot of times what you're going to have to do is just use the context of a sentence um, to say, is it going to make the most sense to say when, since, or although, all right? Um, so you do have to use, uh, use some judgment calls when you are translating and see what makes most sense, okay? Now, obviously, if you have an indicative verb, that one has to be temporal, all right? Um, but the other three, if, they're, if you got a subjunctive verb, then you gotta got to think it through a little bit more.